Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gamer Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video, and welcome to episode 12 of the Wheel of Retro Bowl series. In episode 11, mild spoiler alert, we beat the Bengals 15 to 9 to get back into a winning situation. Our reward was to boost facilities again. Nothing too flashy, but we did get to unbench our quarterback, Saquon Tamu. And today, we've got a big game, Week 11, against the Washington football team. We are half a game out of the last wildcard spot. Washington, at 6-3, and three, is holding on to the lead in the NFC East. So we've got ourselves a good game here. To see how good of a game we're going to have, though, we need to go to the wheel of gameplay settings and the challenge wheel. And starting off with the game settings wheel, we give it a spin and we get one minute quarters dynamic difficulty. We had this against Baltimore and it did well for us. Hopefully we do well with it again today. Now here we are at the challenge wheel. I've added a couple of new challenges. Hopefully we can land on one of them, but whatever challenge we get, we get. And we get the one receiver only challenge. I'm going to be able to choose one receiver. That I can play everybody else I'm going to bench, and I can only hit the star receiver. So here we go, back in the game. We'll go to one-minute quarters, dynamic difficulty, over to the roster. We're going to bench Adore Sweat. Sorry, I meant to bench, not to trade. Thank goodness I didn't actually cut him. That would have been bad. And then between our two wide receivers, Roberts and Wise Roberts, max speed, low stamina, Wise, lower speed, higher stamina. I think I'm going to need the speed, though. It's a one-minute quarter game. Won't need too much stamina. So Porter Wise is getting benched. So Tamu to Roberts will be our connection all game long. And before the game starts, we can either meet with our shareholders or the team. 69% morale. If it was any other percentage, I would meet with the team. But 69%, nice. We'll take the coaching credit here. Get us to 207. And now let's get ready to take on Washington. Four and a half star defense. That's going to be their calling card. But only a two and a half star offense. So let's see how we can do loading into the game. We get the ball first. Going to look to Roberts. And again, we're on dynamic difficulty. Now I have won a few games recently. But I feel like it's going to be a relatively low difficulty. As I think if I strafe right. Or I don't even have to strafe, it's just a missed tackle. One play, 64-yard touchdown, makes it 6-0. I'm going to kick the extra point here and try to make it 7-0. And the extra point is up, and it's good. Then Washington with an immediate punt. Could I get two first-quarter touchdowns here? I very well could. I hit the receiver, Roberts, again. Longest air-yard pass. And that is another touchdown. Yes, 60 yards. So two catches, 124 yards, two touchdowns. Kick that extra point, and it's already 14-0. to zero. This game is flying by. We force yet another punt back on offense, and we go deep to Roberts. Diving catch off the deflection. A little Julio Jones action there. If you know, you know. But we get the first down, and then we're going to hit Roberts over the middle. That is caught. He's to the 10-5, and that's a 32-yard touchdown. He is dominating Washington. So we're going to kick the extra point and go up 21-0. This game is over. This game is absolutely over. In the second half, our defense gets an interception. Now that was a bad throw. Deflected, caught by Roberts for the first down. Beautiful little celebration there. I might have to... Dial in some of the gutsy play calls here, but there we go. We hit the slant. Roberts, first down and a lot more, 51 yards, and we head to the fourth quarter up 21-0. All that's left to decide here is what is the final score going to be, and Roberts, 23-yard touchdown, first play of the fourth quarter, makes it 27 kick the extra point, and it's 28-0. Washington punts. We've got 31 seconds left. Going for more, but that's picked. Got a little too aggressive, but 
a 28-0 game with 16 seconds left. That is an absolutely dominant victory. 28-0 is the final. First shutout of the series. Our best offensive performance of the series. Keep in mind, it was one-minute quarters. We got a touchdown every minute. We're still in the hunt at 6-5 and five behind Chicago and Minnesota at 6-4. and four. But we do knock Washington down to 6-4. and four. And we'll have a big game next episode against 8-2 and two San Francisco. We're going to praise Darren Grayson. We didn't get sacked at all today that I recall. No, we didn't. And that's completely on him. 255 yards and four touchdowns passing. All from Tamu to Roberts. We did have one interception. We're not going to talk about that. On defense, Shaheen with an interception. We'll talk about that because that is good. And Moxon made all of his kicks. So we'll max out blocking for Grayson. For Bernard, let's get more tackling. Moxon, max out your range. And now let's see what we're going to get from our reward wheel for today's 28-0 victory. Here we go. On the reward wheel, I have one or two new rewards as well couple ideas in the comments thank you everybody who left those free agent signing up to four stars i like that i like that a lot and as i get to the free agent screen again i have ideas that you've left in the comments on my wheels so please leave your ideas and you'll see them on the wheels we go to free agents we can get somebody up to four stars i would love to get slayton so much but he's a five-star defensive lineman. On page two, shoot, four and a half stars. So let's go back to page one. Let's look at this roster. I'm going to unbench my guys so I can see who I actually have here. Now, I don't have a tight end. I am a bit shaky on defense. Do our defensive options have much potential? Honestly, no. So let's look at the offense. Terrell Geis is tempting, even though I have Tamu. Nazair Utah, I would like a tight end. We have two wide receivers. Running back's not anything special, so let's pick up Nazair Utah. Welcome to the team. Got ourselves a new tight end. And that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new for more retrobull videos. The Wheel of Retrobull dropping every Tuesday and Friday night between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm also trying to post bonus videos when I'm able to on Wednesdays and then on Sundays. Join my Discord server. Let's come hang out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me those there. But that truly is going to do it for today's video. Once again, I'm Jay from Skull Gaming Network. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.